Craig Morgan wants you to know that Blake Shelton's Twitter campaign to get his song The Father, My Son and the Holy Ghost to number one on iTunes wasn't the first time the country superstar has been there for him since the death of his son Jerry in 2016. Something Shelton and girlfriend Gwen Stefani did three years ago at the funeral has stuck with him, he shares in a new interview with Taste of Country Nights. Overall, Morgan says he's been humbled to tears by Shelton, but that doesn't make performing the ballad any easier. We'll get there. In fact, Craig has a confession about that famous Kelly Clarkson performance. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country, and if Craig's new song has made an impact on your life, tell us why in the comments section below. The singer says part of why he talks about and performs this very painful song is because he wants to start a conversation of faith in times of trouble. He's reading your stories. I had a gentleman just, I read one yesterday from a gentleman, uh, he just dropped his child off at school, <clears throat> and he said he cried all the way home uh, listening to this song, thinking about his child and what he said he don't know how I went through it but he's so grateful that I did this song because it makes him think about that and think about his faith that's powerful. Okay, more on Craig and Blake. Morgan says he considers Blake to be his closest friend in the music business, even though it might not always seem like it because the two country veterans are always hammering each other on social media. When Jerry died, Blake and Gwen hopped on a plane and flew out to my son's funeral and they were walk going to walk through the front door with everyone else and it's Blake, Shelton, and Gwen Stefani. I mean, they, but they, they were so humble. They did not want a request or need anything above and beyond. They were willing to sit wherever. You know, and that, that just says a lot about their character and their personality. In September, when Morgan released The Father, My Son, and the Holy Ghost, Shelton not only tweeted at his people to promote the song, he enlisted the help of people like Gwen, Ellen, and Kelly Clarkson. It was a powerful movement, and it worked. I was just humbled, I mean, literally to tears. Uh, I didn't, there was nothing I could say to tell him thank you enough. Um, he and Gwen both have been beautiful uh, throughout this whole process. The Father, My Son, and the Holy Ghost is Morgan's new single, his first since rejoining Broken Bow Records. He shares that his new record deal was already in the works before he shared the new song. It's not one he performs at every concert because it takes too much out of him, and sometimes it's just not in him to do it. I cannot convey how difficult it is. When I did the Kelly Clarkson show, I almost passed out. My knees were weak, I was shaking, my heart, everything in me, because it takes so much energy to maintain my composure while singing this song that is so personal. We've got more from Craig about this song and his test of faith, so make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you're first to see it. He's willing to talk about this, even though it brings him tremendous pain. There's a pain that comes like, <laughs> like, you know, like hard to breathe. You know, you ever popped a rib? I haven't, but I could, I've been You know how you, you see people talk about yeah. the rib pop and they go, <laughs> and they try to take a breath, but it hurts? Yeah. That's the pain you feel in your chest when you have these conversations. So it's difficult. Uh, and, and, you know, you, you try to maintain your composure as much as you can. And, but again, I have a lot of faith, and I know that I'm experiencing this pain for a purpose. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for watching.